Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to optoelectronics devices and systems. So we're discussing about the band gap modulation, the adjustment of the forbidden energy gap in semiconductors for optoelectronics applications. So we have discussed various methods. So in this video, we'll be discussing about the use of nanotechnology or quantum size effect okay so before going into detail we know that the forbidden energy gap is the energy difference between the valence band and the conduction band valence band is the energy possessed by electrons in the outermost orbit of the atom and conduction band is the energy possessed by the free electrons after they break free from the valence band by absorbing certain amount of energy. So the whole principle of optoelectronics is based on this excitation of electrons from valence band to conduction band, transition from valence band to conduction band and again back from conduction band to valence band. So here what happens the basic principle is that at room temperature in case of semiconductors the valence band is filled with electrons the conduction band is empty. So when the uh, material is subjected to light the valence band electron it absorbs photon light photon energy from it excites to the conduction band leaving behind a vacant electronic site thus an electron hole pair is generated this electron hole pair means one electron in conduction band one hole in valence band now this excited electron it cannot stay in the excited state in the conduction band as free electron for an indefinite period of time it cannot do that it has to drop down so it drops down again back with the release of energy now the time period of its stay in conduction band is of the order of nanoseconds so how we can make this transition smooth that is called as adjustment of this band gap energy if this energy is high then the transition will be difficult because the valence band electrons have to overcome more resistance more opposition if this band gap energy is less less opposition so all this hassle of adjusting the band gap energy is called as band gap modulation now there are different methods we have discussed alloying we have discussed use of temperature pressure doping extrinsic semiconductors so in this video we are going to discuss about the uh, quantum size effect or nanotechnology that is minimizing or shrinking the size of uh, the semiconductor material to the nanometer level okay so before we discuss this method we should first understand what is quantum size effect and why reducing the size to nanoscale affects the band gap energy so basically quantum size effect is uh, is, is the is the physics or the study of properties of solids when they are reduced in size to the nanoscale now this effect will not be you know it will not come into play if the dimensions are of the order of micro no it only becomes more and more dominant when the nanometer range is reached so what happens is that when the material is in its bulk state the property the overall property whether it is any property temperature pressure uh, electrical conductivity permittivity permeability whatever property you pick okay it depends on the average of all the atoms that are present okay the summation of the behavior of all 
the individual atoms okay so atom 1 plus atom 2 plus atom 3 up to n atoms that gives us the total behavior okay the total behavior the total temperature total pressure whatever but when we shrink the size when we keep on reducing the size up to the nanometer scale the nano scale when we reduce it the number of atoms within a given volume or surface area or a given dis, uh, you know uh, space whether we are considering 1d 2d one dimension two dimension three dimension it keeps on reducing okay it ge it gets on reducing okay and then we have to deal with the individual behavior okay one particular atom the behavior of that the property of that whether it is temperature pressure permeability permittivity conductivity whatever property we are interested in we have to deal with the individual atoms here we are completely ignoring the individual behavior we are taking the overall behavior the overall average okay when we say the uh, the temperature of that substance is let's say whatever temperature it is in terms of degree celsius or kelvin we are taking the overall average of all the behavior of the atoms the temperature of all the atoms in that material but when we are going to the nano scale we have to consider the behavior of individual atoms the properties of individual atoms and the behavior of the individual atoms is drastically different when these atoms are considered at a bulk level overall level the behavior of the individual atoms is very 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 different drastic difference is there when we consider the overall level this is the individual level this is the overall average or bulk level this is very different drastic differences there so this in order to utilize this uh, property we have to use nanotechnology to reduce the size of the material so that is what happens in quantum size effect so here what happens is that when the size of the semiconductor is reduced to the nano scale the band gap energy of course the quantum size effect will affect the band gap energy because here size is limited in one two or three dimensions okay and as a result of that because of the electron motion is restricted because of the reduction in size the movement of atoms the movement of electrons is restricted okay and because of that restriction in the movement of atoms and hence the movement of electrons the band gap energy is reduced see when we considered the overall thing there was no restriction on the movement of atoms okay it was free okay the uh, the zone of movement it was very large but when we kept on reducing the size then we are restricting the movement of atoms and hence the movement of electrons as well okay by reducing the size and as a result of that because of the reduction of size the movement of atoms and movement of electrons is restricted as a result of which the band gap energy is also fundamentally drastically different from the bulk value okay so the band gap energy at a normal level is bulk level is drastically different at the quantum level okay so that in terms of the mathematical relationship is given by this the band gap energy in nano scale is given by this eg the band gap energy at quantum or nano level is the band gap energy of the bulk plus the quantized energy values of the electron and holes okay and here the quantized energy levels of electrons and holes e plus eh e for electron h for hole is given by 
pi square h square m square by 2 w square into 1 by m e star plus 1 by m h star. So, here w is the thickness of the quantum veil. Here we are only considering one dimension, not two dimension, three dimension. This is only applicable for one dimension quantum size effect, reduction in one dimension. So, w is the thickness of the quantum well, h is Planck's constant, n is the principal quantum number, okay, the orbit number, m e star and m h star are the effective masses of the electrons and holes because of this reduction, because of the movement, reduction or restriction in the movement, e subscript e and a subscript h is the quantized energy values of electron and hole. Okay, this is E plus E H, this much portion and quantum energy, uh, energy band gap at the quantum level or nano level is the sum of the bulk energy, band gap energy plus this factor, okay, this. So, this is the band gap modification, band gap modulation with the help of quantum size effect or nano technology, okay. So, this is the basic principle. So, here we have covered all the band gap modulation methods, alloying or compound semiconductors, nanotechnology, quantum size effect that is use of temperature, pressure and doping that is extrinsic semiconductors. So, friends I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering, science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.